Welcome to Northwestern Engineering's Cascade Training video series. This tutorial will show you how to log in and navigate around Cascade. To get started, open your web browser. We suggest using Firefox or Chrome. And enter the following URL, mordac.itcs.northwestern.edu. You'll be redirected to the NU Online Passport single sign-on page while you enter your NetID and password. Once logged into Cascade, the dashboard will load. The dashboard can be customized with widgets. Click Add Widget to browse and insert new widgets at any time. The dashboard's default layout includes the My Sites widget, which displays all the Cascade sites you have access to. You can view recently opened assets in the My Content widget and drafts. Cascade auto saves drafts of the pages you edit. You can access your drafts here on the dashboard and on the individual page assets. The Notifications widget gives details on successful or failed published jobs. If you see errors or issues in this region and have problems with publishing, reach out to McCormick IT for assistance. To navigate to your site, you can go under My Sites or click the top left drop down menu where it says Site, Go to a Site. You can begin typing in the name of your site. And select your site from the drop down menu. The home screen for your website will load. The home screen has three main areas, the top menu, the left navigational panel, and the site content editing area. The top menu contains tools to create new assets and view all of your site content. You can also search for assets. The circle icon and down arrow contains the menu for settings and to sign out of Cascade. The left navigational panel of the home screen includes the trash and your site's navigation tree. This tree contains all the assets of your website, including folders, pages, images, documents, and files. Items that you and others who have access to your site delete remain in the trash for 15 days. Click the checkbox icon next to any asset and the undo arrow to restore it to its original location. The assets are listed in alphabetical order and correspond to the navigational menu items on your website. We can see on this site, inside a folder called About, there are pages for facilities, facts, and faculty journal covers. If we visit the live website and go to the About section, we can see the items in the menu that correspond. Here's facilities, here's facts, and here's faculty journal covers. The names of the assets are called system names. Notice that the names are lowercase words separated by hyphens. This is because they become part of the URL. Click on any folder icon in the tree to expand and view its contents. Click it again to collapse. If you right click any asset icon, a contextual menu appears and you can access action items like editing and publishing. When you click individual page assets, a preview loads and the options we saw in the contextual menu appears in a top corner of what's now the editing pane. The most important actions with an asset, edit and publish, appear as links and the other functions appear in the more drop-down menu. That's all for this first video tutorial on logging in and navigating around Cascade. In the next tutorial, we'll dive into editing a basic web page of your website.